Today I'm going to show you my top 10 innovative ham radio products for QRP. My name is Mike, and this is Ham Radio Tube. Real quick before we dive in, I just want to mention that all of these accessories I'm going to show you are made by individual ham radio operators like you and me. This is not big ham radio. These are just people who sought to create a product to solve a problem. I will leave links in the description for everything you see here. Now let's dive in. First up from N6 ARA is this mini SWR meter. This is a little kit you can build or you can purchase these pre-assembled. You can make these or they're available for 80 through 20, 40 through 15, or 20 through 10. I chose to build this for 20 through 10, but this is just a little inline mini SWR meter. So for radios that maybe don't have an SWR meter or maybe they don't have multiple uh, uh, meters that will show you power and SWR all at the same time. You just hook this up to your radio. You've got a BNC male on one side and a BNC female on the other. Simply plug it into your radio, attach your coax, and now you have an easy readout, one to one, two to one, or three to one if your SWR is bad. So let me just show you, bad SWR, you get all red lights, no bueno. So very, very easy and quick to see how your SWR is doing with the N6ARA Mini SWR. Next up from N6ARA, we have the Tiny CMC. This is a tiny common mode choke. So if you're using a nine to one, a 49 to one, you just wanna choke, this is a great option. Just like we saw in the Mini SWR, we've got a BNC male and a BNC female. We just plug that into our radio, plug our coax in, and now, we have a choke right at the radio. How cool is that? But wait, there's more. What if we want to include the SWR meter and the choke in line at the same time? Well, you can do that too, and we just have. Next, you're probably wondering, what in the heck am I doing on the right-hand side of my radio that's allowing me to do Morse code? Well, check this out. This right here is the tiny paddle from N6ARA a tiny little emergency Morse code paddle that just plugs right in to your three and a half millimeter jack and allows you to do Morse code. Should something happen to your main key or you forget it or whatever, tiny little kit, very, very easy to assemble. Comes in this little uh, tube here. You have a little uh, device here that's going to allow you to adjust the throw and the feel of the paddles, and it fits just ever so smallly and compactly in this little case there. How cool is that? Now maybe you don't wanna have a tiny little paddle plugged into your radio. Maybe you wanna have an, a, a cable to extend your range. Well, Ara has thought of that, and this is the N6 ARA Tiny Paddle Jack version, and this comes in a little housing, so what you do is you take this out, you take your cable, you fit it through, you plug in the paddle, you put that back in the housing, and now you have a little handheld CW paddle. Now speaking of CW keys, K6ARK has developed a kit that you can print and build your own K6ARK Pico paddle. This is available on printables. You can download the STLs. He's got links to every single bit of accessory or hardware on here, screws, washers, uh, nuts, bolts, magnets, pads, everything. And what this is, is a tiny little Pico paddle. So basically the way this works, you put your jack in, you extend the paddles, you pull them out, they'll click, and now, you have a cool, tiny, little Pico paddle. Collapses, easy, small, compact. You've got a base here that comes off. If you don't want the magnetic base, make it a little bit smaller. This thing is sweet. You do need to make these yourself, but who doesn't love a fun, awesome project like that? Thank you, K6ARK, for developing such an awesome CW paddle. Next up from K6ARK is the mini microphone for the QMX, TrueSDX, USDX, KX2, and KX3, and I believe this also works with the ZBIT-X. 
This is another 3D printed kit. You need to print this and assemble it yourself again on printables. All links for all parts are on his printables page. It's very easy to make. There are some tiny components in there, but this is the microphone that I use with my QMX. You've got your front loaded microphone there. You've got your PTT button and you've got your three and a half millimeter jack right there. Perfect, tiny, compact, smaller than your pinky, lightweight, portable, and it sounds great. Next up, we have yet another awesome design from Adam K6ARK. This is the K6ARK QRP 5 watt matching unit kit that's available in both BNC male and BNC female, though the BNC female is not available right now. Check back on Amazon for replenishment. But how cool is this? This is an antenna kit. Comes with all the parts you need. You do need to supply the antenna wire, but you can make three different antennas out of this. They're very inexpensive. You can make a one-to-one -one ballon for a dipole. You can make a nine-to-one random wire, or you can make a 49-to-one end-fed half wave, all with the parts in this kit. Very compact, very lightweight, and a very, very good QRP antenna from K6ARK. Next up, we have another really cool 49-to-1 NFET half-wave kit. This time, it's from KM4CFT Jonathan. You might know him. He makes the CFT uh, QRP CW transceivers. Well, this is his tiny little portable antenna. It's fantastic. It's got a BNC female on there, so you plug your coax directly into it. Uh, you do need to supply your own wire again. I prefer to use the Soda Beams 26-gauge wire. Just super easy. You literally just throw this in a tree. I've actually just hung the tra uh, the, tra the transformer over a tree branch, connected the coax to it, no supports, anything, and then going up to a mast. It's awesome. Again, very, very lightweight and compact and very inexpensive. This thing is sweet. Next up, we've got the new kit on the block. This is from Mike and Becky over at Ham Radio Duo. This is called the Just OK Mini Antenna. This is a 20 meter antenna. You've got the radiating element, you've got the counterpoise, and you have a loading coil. And this is so cool. When I saw this, they had this at Hamcation, or excuse me, Huntsville Ham Fest uh, this year. And when I saw this, I jumped on it. This is so cool. This is available for pre-order now. They are also working on a kit where you buy all the parts from them and you can assemble it yourself. I have one of those coming to me, so we'll be doing a build, uh, a build video on that soon. But basically the way this works, you've got a quarter 20 here, so you take a little tripod, screw that in there, and then you take your whip, you screw that into the top, you extend it, and you take your counterpoise wire with the banana plug, plug it in there, and you are now tuned and resonant on 20 meters. And the greatest thing about it, Mike and Becky make no uh, claims that this is a great antenna, that it's gonna revolutionize the world. That's why they call it the Just OK Mini, because it's exactly that. It's just okay. It gets the job done, it solves the problem, and I am absolutely in love with this. Last on my list, and although this isn't exactly dedicated for QRP, this is what I take with my QRP radios that are all band, all mode, this is the Faraday 2 meter J-pole antenna by Ben Eady, AKA Ham Radio Rookie on YouTube. By day, he is a visual effects artist in the movie industry, and he moonlights as the biggest ham radio nerd that I know. This is a strap, it's a cloth strap, and he has sewn Faraday cloth onto it to make a J-pole. On the back, he's developed a PCB, with a BNC female. So now you can take your all band, all mode QRP radio. And because we know that height is might, by using a compact, lightweight, portable, flexible J pole like this, when we get this up in the air, we can take our measly five watts that we get out of our all band, all mode QRP radios. And by having that height, we can get our signal out further. And he'll even customize your J-Pole, your Faraday antenna with your call sign for an additional $15. Ham Radio Rookie, Faraday antenna. I have two of these and I keep them in my QRP radios. I have one for my 705 and one for my FTX and I don't leave home without them.